Do you use true marketing principles? I was recently invited to look at a networking opportunity. The person who invited me, I know from socializing at PeopleString, the social network. I find myself respecting this man, even though I don't really know him. As I got to thinking about my feelings toward him, I began to wonder why. What has he done differently that makes me respect him more than some other network marketers? In the world of networking, it is preached to develop friendships with people and the referrals will follow. This is one marketing principle that very few people try to implement. Mainly because it takes time to develop a relationship with someone. Most people don't want to take the time needed to begin to gain the respect of others before they start sending out business links. I, too, am guilty of falling into the link-sending trap, but, as I sat analyzing the my feelings of respect, I realized the only links I have seen this man post were to his blog. And, those were usually sending people there for more information. It is funny, because he uses a lot of analogies which compare marketing to phishing. It seems he had caught me hook, line, and sinker. Not that I am going to join each and every program he recommends, but I do respect his opinion. In marketing, getting respect is half the battle. From this one encounter, I learned that using marketing principles which develop friendships will, also, develop respect. I believe, to be a successful network marketer, you will need more than one set of marketing principles. But, the truth is this, in networking it is all about you. Would you buy a product or service from yourself? If not, then maybe you should work on your marketing principles first. Learn to develop a good relationship with your possible referrals. Remember, they are people too.